Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Dan and welcome back to another Super Mario Odyssey video. The way that I came up with today's challenge is actually really, really interesting. So I decided that because I never end up doing it, I went ahead and took my Switch out of the dock and played it in handheld mode for a little bit. And I realized that in the Metro Kingdom, you can actually get two of these little Vespas over here uh, to spawn in at the same time. You can do that by going up on top of the skyscraper, getting that little scooter, and then coming down uh, to this area and doing the same thing. So the idea that I had was that I wanted to take both of these scooters and drive both of them on every single street in New Donk City at the same time. So you're actually not able to stay on just one scooter for too long because if you do that, the other scooter is gonna despawn and go back to its normal spawn point. To make this challenge just a little bit more difficult, I wanted to also make it to where you are not allowed to touch the ground during this challenge. You're only allowed to jump from scooter to scooter. If you touch the ground, then you have to start the entire challenge over again. I'm really, really excited to get this challenge figured out. Uh, it's currently, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to sleep if I don't go ahead and try this and get it knocked out. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, you guys. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go over to the skyscraper that's up here and I'm going to try to be a little bit careful with uh, with my audio leakage of my headphones because I'm I'm actually taking a jazz class for, uh, for college right now and because of that I'm listening to jazz music in the background to kind of get, you know, kill two birds with one stone sort of situation. So the goal is to come down here and grab uh, the other scooter that's down here and then this is pretty much where the challenge starts. So the way that I kind of want to route this out is a, is a bit interesting. So I want to go into every single sort of street area that I'm able to. So like all of these like like these little like crevices here, all the way around this. I don't, I'm not going to go inside of here because this like alleyway isn't actually a street. And I want to end right over here next to uh, to the the flagpole and then next to the uh, the electro portal loop. Uh, so one thing I need to do is I need to get like right next to it. The thing that's going to make this a little bit more challenging is that once... So the easiest way to make sh to, to restart the challenge is to wait for that Vespa to despawn and then it'll spawn back at its spawn point and then we can start it all over again. The best way that I thought that I was able to pull this off was just to, to kind of go... It takes so long because you actually have to wait for the, for the other Vespa to despawn and go back to, uh, to right there. Uh, before you can even start the challenge again once you manage to mess it up. You really have to just kind of inch your way through this area and literally jump from uh, from scooter to scooter to get this down. I wouldn't have thought so much that it would be a difficult challenge as much as it would just be a long and tedious challenge and that's where the difficulty would really come from. Okay. So the biggest thing that like, like it's really difficult trying to get these turns here because you have to kind of like go in at an angle. But what makes this actually, like, not, I guess, as bad is, like, just having Cappy- Oh, God. Oh, my God. Alright, so it's the next morning. Um, I'm actually not feeling- I'm not feeling super good today, so... I'm gonna just kinda grind out this challenge for a little bit. The level of concentration that this is taking is just unbelievable. All right, so this is going to be a little bit better. We're going to go just, we're just going straight. We're going right down the street. So I'm going to take my time on this. Clutch man, Ernie. My apologies, sir. My intention is not to obstruct traffic. Now, the biggest concern for me right now is that, like, I ha I'll have to turn around at some of these streets. That's going to be a little bit concerning for me. Hold on. I don't even know what song is playing anymore. Last night, I was in a really big jazz mood, but right now I'm listening to, uh, good old C. Brown. Cool. We jab into Usher now. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rough. The good thing is that you have a good amount of time to get your bearings correctly. <sighs> Those things still suck. They still suck. Okay, I gotta figure out where I wanna go now. So I think what I think, yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up this street, go down, come down, 
this direction. And then, like, just kind of meet my way down this way, and then come back through. Like, to the bottom. I'm actually- I'm going against traffic. Move it, taxi! There's a part of me that is really, really excited for this video to come out. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Taxi plez, taxi. Be nice to me. All these capture targets I have to go around is ridiculous. I think the poles are the, definitely the worst parts. If you just so much as look at it the wrong way, then you're just gonna fly right into it. Yo, what do you think these, uh, these, what do you, what do you think the citizens are thinking? Are you just jumping from one Vespa to the next? Okay, so then here, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around here. Go in, hit this street, come back down, and then end out at the bottom. I'm listening to an ad right now that's talking about logging my work miles to save money on my taxes. There's literally nothing more appropriate. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Oh, okay. We prevented the despawn. That was really, really scary. I'm learning so much. The IRS keeps track of how many miles you deduct. Business stuff? Poggers, dude. Okay, gotta be careful. Okay. It would have been a, a really, really big deal if we had hit the Scarecrow. But I think we're... As long as I take it slow and steady, I think we're pretty much scot-free. Final stretch. Final flippin' stretch. Oh my gosh, are we doing it? Now the goal, like I said, was to get past the flagpole. I don't know if I specified that we have to get past the flagpole, but that was the goal, is to get past the flagpole. And I think, oh my gosh, we finally did it. Oh, and right when I get... <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. Ah, uh, had the victory. To God's plan by Drake. It's a big, it's a big day, man. Oh man, it was so much harder yesterday. It only took me a few tries to get it this time. Thank goodness. Yo, so this challenge was a lot of fun to do. It's a little bit tricky. It's not so much like a super difficult challenge as it is tedious, and it really does test your patience uh, with these mechanics in Odyssey. So I want to push this challenge onto you guys. I would love to see you guys take on this challenge. If you guys are, are YouTubers or if you guys are streamers, I would love to see uh, you guys attempt these challenges in your videos or in your streams, and if you guys decide to give it a try, go ahead and tweet me at DanTweets, or, you know, if you're in my Discord channel, go ahead and just shoot me a DM or hit me up in my server down there. I would love to see you guys try this challenge out. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. I don't care if it's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go get lunch. I'm not even- no. I'm not even gonna.